gay. <laughs> I said, man, what a fucking hurtful thing to say. This is my favorite hat. The only way this hat can make me look gay is when I turn it to the side. <laughs> and then started sucking her cock. <laughs> so two minutes later, I pull his cock out of my mouth and go, God damn it, why the fuck are you always right? <laughs> But I'll let you guys know, for the record, I'm not gay, okay? I like chicks too. But, uh, a lot of people don't realize that I'm bisexual until I fucking tell them. And, uh, well, you know, I'm not normally wearing the hat at the time. <laughs> I'm, uh, in the community, I'm what they call straight acting. And, uh, what straight acting means is I like to fool people by thinking I'm straight by, you know, wearing uncoordinated outfits <laughs> or fishing. <laughs> now I'll explain about the fishing. Honestly, how many gay guys do you know that would like to come home smelling like fish at the end of the day? <laughs> but being a member of the gay community actually really sucks for me right now. Uh, like right now, I'm just dating women. Uh, mainly because of the last relationship I had with a guy just left this really bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> what an asshole, seriously. What an asshole. <laughs> no, that's the first thing I told him before we had sex. I was like, mm, what an asshole. <laughs> but he was a little too girly for me. Uh, like, I accidentally walked in on him in the bathroom. And uh, he was sitting down. And I froze for a second, I was like, well, I don't know what to do. He looks at me and he's like, it's okay. I'm just peeing. I said, man, you could have told me something a little bit more manly than that. <laughs> I kind of know, like, dude, I'm taking a killer shit right now. Or I'm making room for you. <laughs> That's gross. That is gross, but it's true. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Guess in my spare time, I like to write. Uh, I, I like, like to write erotic Will and Grace fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you guys got that because Will and Grace is such an old show. I think my my best work though was probably the uh, the night that Jack and Will actually fucked. Nothing. God damn. <laughs> Well, that sucked. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, though. I was actually kind of nervous before I got on stage. Uh, I was so nervous I had to go to the bathroom. I threw the curtain to the side, dropped on my knees, grabbed both sides of the toilet, and then just started blowing the guy that was sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually spoke to him earlier in the afternoon while we were holding, we weren't holding each other's dicks, but we were holding dicks. I was like, hey, what's going on, man? I'm Frankie. Nice to meet you. There was nothing masculine about that. We were talking to each other in the bathroom. That was the one that said, I feel like I'm in God with the Williams. Yes. Oh, yeah. Same set. I'll still pay you. Like right now, you know, like I said, I'm dating women. Um... Hey, the last girl that I was with, though, her. she kept telling me that I was a disappointment to her. You know, in my ear, constantly, you're a disappointment. I just had it one day. Look, I, I said, look, honey, sit down. I need to talk to you. I was like, honestly, you say that you're disappointed in me. The only way you could actually be disappointed in me is if you want to take an HIV test. <laughs> Y'all laughing. That was just a joke. I'm glad y'all were laughing. But that was just a joke for those who didn't laugh, okay? I don't actually have a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm almost out of here, and uh, I'll leave you guys with this. Any guys like sports? Woo! Woo! Yeah. yeah! Guess what? They're not the straight guys, they're the fucking gay guys. I'll explain. Let's take, let's take boxing, for example. You have two grown men shirtless fighting over a belt in a fucking purse. <laughs> the 
then there's baseball. Nine men in matching outfits use a long, hard stick to try and score as much as possible. <laughs> Even the fights in baseball are actually made for gay men. Because all they do is kick dirt all over all Oh, god damn, I fucked that. All they do is kick dirt all over each other's shoes. <laughs> now, I'm sure that you guys are thinking, well, what about when the bench clears? That's a pretty manly fight. Honestly, the dog pile, men piled on top, one on top of each other, just trying to get at each other. Then we come to football, obviously the gayest sport of all. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, 22 men that just happen to be big and burly get all sweating at each other, trying to have as much hard physical contact as possible. All while trying to get an oblong shaped ball into a thing they call the end zone. Now that may be stretching it a little bit. Uh, gay guys normally chase after a pair of oblong shaped balls. <laughs> But you know, we won't go that far. I'm actually out here, but I'm gonna leave you guys with this. I've got a teenage daughter. The other day she actually came to me and she said, Daddy, when I turn 18, I wanna be a stripper. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. yeah. I said, honey, like, there's no way you could be a stripper. I'm not gonna allow it. And she's like, well, why not? I was like, well, you gotta gain about 40 pounds. This is San Antonio after all. Oh, 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 oh. You guys have been awesome. My name is Frankie Danger. I'm giving you back to Renee Sanchez, everybody. Woo! That was freaking awesome, though. <laughs> fucking awesome. There you go. Somebody get that guy some dick. Yeah! <laughs> All right, man. We're almost, we're, we're, gonna, we're almost done here. We're going to wrap it up soon. Uh, I'm going to give it up to your next guy. He's almost as adorable as myself. Uh, give it up for a good friend of mine, Brian Powell. Give it up for your host, everybody. Give it Woo! up. Give it up for me. Isn't he fucking adorable? <laughs> what? <coughs> no, really. That was not rhetorical. What? <laughs> Alright, cool. Coward. A little bit about me um, before we actually start here. Um, I'm going to tell you something about myself. Uh, and then we're all gonna go around the room and we're gonna say like an interesting fact about, their, uh, about themselves. Is that cool? Yeah. All right, well, first off, uh, I'm a former Boy Scout. <laughs>